M0 FXB, welcome back to my videos on the Yesu FTX1 and the Optima. So I think this is quite interesting. The FTX does have Bluetooth, but you purchase a Bluetooth module. And I've got a photograph of this. It's about £40. Martin Lynch uh, showing them there. I don't think any stock's arriving for a few weeks of anything. But, you know, you can see if I just enlarge this picture. That's what it looks like. It's actually, and it says it here in the instructions, a BU5. But the key thing is here is that the cover that you remove from the FTX, just, just, just here on the left, sorry, my mouse is uh, being a pain. Right, so just here on the left is actually different uh, than the cover that comes with the BU, the BU. They call it the BU6. It's actually a BU5 with an extra cover. And there's the cover just there, as you can see. It says supplied cover that you get with the BU6. So you remove the normal one, which is flat, and then you add the BU. It just clips into place, BU5, and there you are. And then so the cover will stick out a little bit once it's installed. So you can see what's there now on the right hand side it looks quite flat and flush and you can see there's a, a raised area to clip it off and then you put that one on now you know the key thing that people have been asking here is would it work on data and i think no i'm looking at this and it actually describes in the manual can be equipped with bluetooth function by installing the unit hands-free operation is possible using the ssm bt20 um, or a commercially available headset one that actually works with the type of Bluetooth that they're using. So mm, it does it say here for additional details of Bluetooth functions, refer to the advanced manual. Now we haven't got the advanced manual yet. So actually, so I'll, I'll take back what that I said no, because they are saying refer to Bluetooth manual. Now it, we definitely would like to interact with programs, especially program, you know, several programs for ham radio using bluetooth and who knows i mean i mean we haven't got an external display have we um so is there anything we can do with that i don't know i literally uh, I, I don't know because no one's got this device yet uh, many many have said to me come on we want an external display and i, I agree that that it would have been nice to, to put something there where we could have had an external display. Of course, there's quite sophisticated programs out there. Um, can we use the SC, Can we connect the SCU LAN, which um, doesn't give you external display, but it does take the information from your radio, um, probably via the USB C connector, and then connect that to your box, your SCU LAN box, which then gives you internet which then allows you to connect it to your PC and you get that amazing display. And it is amazing um, from the SCU LAN. Check out my other videos. So I, I feel that that probably will be available. Uh, so that's that's a biggie. So, so that's the thing we need to know really as well is can we use the SCU LAN with the FTX1? You know, on the back, you've got the connections showing just here. And uh, just looking through, you've got the control cable for a tuner. For, so you don't have to use the SPA1 tuner. You can add an external tuner. A couple of antenna connections there for HF, which is great. And of course, we know there's a USB-C. And in the back of the SPA1, you've got a normal DC lead there, the big square type that you get with, with base stations, yeah? Um, of course, we know about the ATS120 that works. There is definitely no HDMI out or DVI out. Um, so, yeah, interesting times. And then we are back to Bluetooth. Uh, so maybe they've penciled in the SCU LAN. I think initially that, you know, they. I got a feeling that might come in because you do have that USB-C connection. Hmm. I'm not seeing any sort of cat connector or what's the other type connectors that they have? ATT. I'm just seeing tuner. Uh, even here, I'm seeing two BNCs. I'm not seeing that classic sort of cat. Is it cat eight or, or eight pin, 10 pin? You know the one. Uh, I'm not seeing that at the moment, but you know, maybe it will be. Um, so thanks for watching. This video is about the BU6. Uh, Bluetooth unit and the SSM BT20. How well does it work? I, I tried it. It does work. 
it will ptt you can hear it uh do i love it no but i'm not a bluetooth earpiece type of person i like a good speaker bye for now 7.30